Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a really interesting exponential equation for math exam. We have 4 to the x plus x equal to 0. And a lot of students write this type of comment under my post about this question and they say that we don't have right here real number roots. And this is a very tricky moment because I want to say that right here we have one real number root and this is a very tricky and very interesting moment. So in this video I'm going to show you how can you solve this question correctly and step by step you can also write your solution down into the comment section and then we will check our answers. Okay, so how can you solve this question? we have exponential equation 4 to the x plus x equal to 0. And first of all, let's bring this x from our left side to right side. As a result, what do we have? On the left side, we still have 4 to the power x. And on the right side, we have not x, but minus x. And right now, let's look closely in terms of geometry. What do we have right here? We have 4 to the x exponential function and linear function. But let's look closely at this exponential function. From school, we need to know approximately how the graph looks like. And if you're talking about exponential function, this graph looks like that. This is our exponential function. But this is not the main thing right here. Because as x increases uh, and fx start to move towards infinity. So the domain is the set of all real numbers from minus infinity to plus infinity. But the main thing is that our range is from 0 to plus infinity. So our expression on the right side need to be positive. If you're talking about real numbers, this expression, so minus x, need to be need to be positive. And when minus x is, is positive, from here we have that x is less than 0. If you multiply on both sides by minus 1, from here we have that our x is less than 0. And this is really important inequality for us because it tells us what expression we will have in the end. So x is less than 0. Okay, right now let's continue solve this, solving this question. We know that x is less than 0 and let's continue solve this question. So what do we have? 4 to the x equal to minus x. So we have 4 to the x equal to equal to minus x. Right now a lot of tricky moves. First of all, let's let's raise both sides to the power one over x. Let's try to group our constant on the left side and our variables on the on the right side. Let's raise both sides to the power one over x. So right here we're gonna raise both sides to the power to the power one over x. So let's do this. As a result what do we have? We have four to the power x raised to the power one over x and we have on the right side minus x to the power to the power one over x. Okay, we just raise them both sides, so this change uh, change nothing for us. But if you look closely on the on the left side, we will have like four to the x raised to the power one over x. This is equal to four to the power x times one over x. So as a result, we can write this one as as four to the power x times 1 over x. Okay, this is equal to 1, so this is really great, and we leave this, the expression on the right side like that, so we can simplify it, so we write it minus x to the power to the power 1, 1 over x. Okay, right now, x times 1 over x, we can easily cancel this, so as a result, on the left side, we have, we have only 4, and on the right side, we leave this expression like that, so we have minus x to the power to the power 1 over x. And we prefer our our constant on the right side and our variables on the left side. So right now let's change position. We can do this because equal sign we have, yeah? So we have minus x to the power 1 over x equal to, equal to 4. So this is and the way that we need to solve it, we have our variables on the left side and our constant on the right side. How can you solve this equation? I'm going to show you a great substitution. So let's write, so let 1 over x is equal to is equal to minus t. This is our substitution. And from here, if you're talking about x, x is equal to minus one over over t. This is our substitution, really important substitution because we we will solve it. And a really important moment, t need to be need to be positive because we are talking about positive uh, positive uh, x. So right here, t need to be need to be positive. Okay, so right now let's let's plug in this substitution into this spot. As a result, what do we have right here? Instead of x, we're going to write uh, minus one over t. But with this minus, with this minus, we have plus. So inside parentheses, we have one over. 1 over t inside parentheses and we're going to raise this to the power 1 over x equal to minus t so we have 1 over t to the power minus t is equal to is equal to 4. Okay, how can you solve this uh, this exponential uh, exponential equation? First of all, let's use really interesting trick. Let's write instead of this minus t, let's write minus 1 times t. So we have 1 over t and we're going to raise this time uh, to, to the, this expression so minus 1 times times t. Okay, it changed nothing, but right now there's a rule of interchange, a great rule in terms of mass. We can easily write this minus 1 as a power of this 1 over t. So as a result, we can write this as 1 over t to the power 
minus 1 and we raise all of these to the power to the power t equal to equal to 4. Okay, and right now the final tricky move right here. 1 over t to the power minus 1 is equal to t. Okay, we just change our numerator and denominator. Okay, so we have our t right here. We have only t raising to the power to the power t to the to this power t and equal to 4. And I hope you see the solution because t to the power t equal to 4. We can easily solve it in terms of Lambert W function, but I hope you see this obvious solution because 2 square equal to 4. So from here, 2 square is equal to is equal to 4. And from here we can easily say that t equal to t equal to 2. But this is our t. We need to solve this question in terms of in terms of x. So let's go back to our substitution. So t equal to 2, but we can easily take this substitution x equal to minus 1 over t. So let's write it. So but x equal to minus 1 over t. This is our substitution x equal to minus 1, 1 over t. So we can easily plug in this t instead of this t. We can easily plug in this 2 instead of this t. So as a result, our x is equal to minus minus one half and this is really great root for us because in the beginning we wrote that our x need to be need to be less than zero okay so we have this uh, inequality right here so x need to be need to be negative and we have this negative negative solution so everything is great but and finally let's let's check our let's check our solution so this is our answer but let's check it let's see uh, maybe this is not, not like not possible so let's do this so we have right here check so in the beginning we had our equation 4 to the x plus x equal to equal to 0. Right now let's check this x equal to equal to minus 1 half. So instead of x we're going to plug in minus 1 half. So as a result what do we have right here? We have 4 to the power minus 1 half plus minus 1 half and equal to equal to 0. Okay, right now let's simplify this a little bit. So 4 to the power minus 1 half. 1 half, this is our square root uh, in terms of like if we're talking about, about uh, this fraction. 1 half, this is our uh, power in terms of square root. So 1 half, this is our square root, but we have negative square root, uh, negative power. So if we're talking about uh, simplifying this expression, we can easily write this as 1 over 4 to the power 1 half. But as I told before, 1 half, this is our square root. So 1 over square root of 4. And we have minus one half equal to zero and square root of four equal to two. So as a result, we have really interesting expression. We have one half minus uh, minus one half equal to zero. So everything is everything is great. So right now you can easily see that it, this root is uh, really great for us. X equal to x equal to minus one half. Right now we can see a plot. You can see a graph to this question. You can see this point of intersection, which is really really great moment because in the beginning what we had in the beginning we had four to the x plus x equal to zero and a lot of students might be saying right here we don't have real number root but as, as I told before we can easily find this root and we have this x equal to x equal to minus one half which is which is really great so a great question to practice mm, to practice uh, geometry to practice exponential function in terms of geometry a great question to practice our to practice our power rules so I hope you I hope you understand I hope you understand my explanation so right now let's go uh, go back and let's look closely what we had in the beginning in the beginning we had exponential equation first of all we we write that our x need to be need to be negative because exponential function the range of exponential function is from 0 to plus to plus infinity okay so when x is negative we are talking about a positive expression on the right side which is really important in terms of real numbers okay right now a really great tricks we raise into the power 1 of x we just want to group constant on the left side and our variables on the right side okay so this is our first step a second step is our substitution very tricky substitution but it helps us a lot because uh, because we uh, can easily simplify it in the, in the end of this substitution we have really great expression t to the power t equal to 4 and from here t equal to 2 then we go back to our substitution so as a result our x is equal to is equal to minus one half which is really great then we we check our check our solution check our answer and everything is everything is great so a great question i hope you understand it i hope you enjoy it also write your solution down into the comment section maybe you have your solution your answer it will be really interesting to read about it also thank you everyone for watching thank you everyone for subscribing thank you everyone when you write your comments down into the comment section it's it's also really great to exchange information and see you in the next videos have a great day also write your 
question what do you want to see on my youtube channel i have a lot of ideas so write your notes write your write your question down into the comment section maybe you, you want to see exponential equation maybe you want to see a great uh, question where we where we need to simplify our algebraic expression it's it's really it's really great so thank you everyone for your time see you in the next videos and have a great day